Following the release of last year's FJ X2M Strobe, Westcott has just released the latest to their FJ series, the FJ82. Not only do they have this new speed light, but they've also released a new L60B COB LED light so that videographers could have something new and shiny to play with as well. Let's get right into what makes these lights special and how they could benefit you as a creator. Westcott has made pairing the FJ82 with any number of their other lighting systems seamless. The universal 2.4 GHz transmitter offers compatibility with virtually every major camera brand, with the FJ82S being their Sony specific model, which is what we have in studio today. The FJ82 can be used both on camera as a speed light and as a transmitter for your more powerful lighting setups. Westcott has also ensured a 5500 Kelvin color temperature stability, ensuring a multi-light setup will always have consistent colors so your skin tones will come out great every time. They've also built long-lasting lithium batteries, which certainly gave me plenty of time to shoot, even while using the modeling lamp, which tends to drain batteries really quickly. Along with this, Westcott has also built in what's worked in the past for their other FJ models. Continuous capture up to 20 frames per second, group and channel assignment for easy multi-light setups, group exposure compensation, a TTL to manual equivalent, and modeling lamp settings. As for the L60B LED light, I had the pleasure of taking this light out during our Sony rooftop event. It proved to be the perfect lightweight option for this outdoor shoot, ensuring that I could light my subjects against the sunset perfectly. It's an extremely lightweight and portable 60 watt option that paired with a small softbox can do a lot of things for you. Being able to pair it with batteries and a handle make it awesome for run again shooters and allows you to get a really large versatility of shots. Even more impressively, the L60B offers color temperature control from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin and nine built-in lighting effects. In tandem, Westcott has just released two really small, impressive lights with an awesome build that bring a lot of power to your shoots. So we used the opportunity to test their new strobe light in a real world shoot. Let's check it out. What do you do when your photographer calls you the day of that she's sick? You grab the speed light yourself and you get it done. Welcome to the Focus Camera Cooking Show! Pan! <laughs> Becca here. The vibe is pretty playful cooking cooking show, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty silly. So, you know, don't take it too seriously. I'll try. We have the uh, Westcott's new FJ80 speed light. Got the transmitter on my Sony A1 camera and I'm shooting with the 35 millimeter G Master. So we really just want to start by setting up our scene here and getting the lighting where we want it to be. So where I'll start is setting my ambient light. So we're shooting indoors, obviously, it's gonna make things a lot easier for us because we don't have to account for the sun. I really just have to set my camera up with the light to get what I like lighting-wise for my background. And since we're shooting in the kitchen, I do want to show off a bit of that background. I'm gonna go to 1 60th, and the power we have on the light is 5.5, which we're gonna keep on right now. That's actually pretty nice. All right. I want to move it a little bit. We're getting a little hot spot on the cabinets to the right of her. But honestly, I like what I'm getting on her face. I might turn the power down a bit. Yeah, give me that look. Give me that sassy look to the side. There we go. Let me get the focus. Nice. All right. That is looking pretty good, honestly. Let's go with this. I think I want to bring in a V flat to get more contrast on the side of her face. And we're not really gonna do any of this real speed stuff yet. This will just sort of be 
our morning breakfast scene. And we're just gonna get some shots and then let's have some fun. For this first setup, the FJ80s with the umbrella was working really well. The V-flat to the right of our model brought in a little more contrast to the image, and we managed to keep our light to a low power and get plenty of exposure on our model. Another layer of diffusion could have helped out, as there were some blown out highlights along her face, but overall, I'm really happy with the images in this first setup. All right, so we changed Becca's outfit, and now it's more of a, she just made breakfast and now she's making lunch or dinner vibe and we're gonna do a lot of movement to try to use the speed lights to the best of their ability and use a really fast shutter again so the first one will have her toss some pasta which is a colloquial phrase and <laughs> we'll try to freeze it in midair let's see i'll probably use the speed light and then there's also obviously freeze mode and we'll experiment for our second setup we wanted to put the speed light to the test and see how well we could freeze a fast moving subject. So I had Becca toss some pasta in a pan. With Westcott's light, it was really easy to dial in our settings to get proper exposure, being able to go all the way up to 1 640th of a second shutter speed. The next challenge of this shot was getting both the model and the pasta properly in frame, while also having the model look into camera while trying to flip the pasta. It took a few tries, but I think we got a result that I'm really happy with. Oh my God, that's incredible. <laughs> Saucy. Yes. Can you see stuff in the it's sink? It's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so we're, there's secretly like six people out here. <laughs> we're changing up the setup a bit. Um, I think this was the part of the theme of the day where it starts to get pretty chaotic and creepy. So I'm going from the strobe on the umbrella to just direct light and with the creative kit for the FJ80, it comes with things like barn doors and also a lot of gels. So I'll probably pull those out and get some funky looking shots. I've never shot with fire before. So this proved another new challenge for myself. I knew I wanted the ambient to look pretty dark and exposed for both the flames and the model. I shot at a pretty fast shutter at 1 6,400th of a second and wide open at F 1.4. At first, the flames weren't really showing in the image and I wasn't sure if I was shooting too fast, too slow, or what. But then, Becca suggested we just use a bigger flame, and that seemed to be the perfect solution. After this shot, we simply played around with the creative kit that you can get with the FJ82s. Included was the barn doors, a bounce hood, a grid which really let us focus our light, a snoot, and a bunch of awesome gels. I loved using the creative kit, because everything was magnetized onto the speed light, which made it really easy to swap out each option and also super fast. Overall, I'm really impressed with these two new products from Westcott. Not only is the usability really easy, but the build quality on these surpass a lot of products I've used in the past for content creation. I love the small portable nature of these two tools and I love how many options it gives you on a set. The touchscreen on the FJ80s gives it a really high-end feel and is really like nothing I've ever seen in the speed light before. The Speedlight itself is selling for around $350, with the added trigger being another $99, making it a higher end option, but clearly with that build quality, it is justified. I do also really recommend adding on that creative kit for an extra $80, because it just gives you so many more options when shooting, especially if you're a wedding photographer or a product photographer, having the addition of those barn doors or those grids made shooting in different scenarios a lot of fun. As for the new L60B continuous light, you can get it for around $270, putting it in line with a lot of its other competition for a light this size. I think what makes it stand apart is the fact that it's bicolor and has those nine lighting effects that you'll see on higher end lights. Paired with the soft box, it could be a really great option as a key light for smaller setups or as a hair light for a larger interview style shoot. In tandem, Westcott has reached a really high quality with these two lights. If you have any questions regarding them, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, consider leaving a like for this video and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. See you next time.